all the rainfall and flash flooding, causing a big mess for commuters who use the Metro North Hudson line. Service is now suspended from Croton Harmon to Poughkeepsie. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu continuing our team coverage. She's live in Croton Hudson with the very latest. Janice. Good, uh, good afternoon, David. Yeah, a big mess for commuters this morning, and the cleanup continues for crews. They actually, the MTA crews actually took us to a portion of the tracks where they are actively working to repair the rails as well as get rid of debris. Take a look at this video. Uh, this is what we saw along the Metro North tracks near the Manitou station. The heavy rain actually washed out a portion of the tracks. Crews were essentially using large boulders to build a makeshift wall and and filling in the gap between that wall and the track, covering the wires that are now exposed. In all, I'm told it'll take about 500 tons of material to repair the tracks. And crews are working to clean up debris on other portions of the track as well. As of now, Metro North is suspended from Croton Harmon to Poughkeepsie. The bus service is expected to start shortly at 1 p.m., departing from here where we are, which is Croton Harmon, making stops at Cortland, Beacon, and Poughkeepsie. A bus service for the Harlem line is already in place. Now we did have a chance to talk to Kathy Rinaldi, the president of Metro North, and she says crews are working around the clock and will continue to do so to make sure they can get things back on track and safe for everyone. Once you dump the stone, you have to restore the track infrastructure itself to just make sure that it's, it, it's in proper condition for trains to run over. So, you know, we've got our track department out there. So we have, you know, we have our track professionals out there to be able to bring the track back to service once we, you know, are able to replace the, the ballast underneath. The MTA says the suspension for a part of that Metro North line right now is uh, going to be in effect for at least the rest of today. As for when things are back open and running normally, well, that's going to depend on how quickly crews are able to clean up the debris and repair that track to make sure everything runs safely.